I typically get asked when do patients see improvement after rhinoplasty in terms of breathing and it varies from one patient to the next. We typically perform rhinoplasty not only to improve the cosmetic appearance of the nose but to improve the function of the nose and so the function or the breathing part of the rhinoplasty takes a few weeks to improve. Most of the time, the day after surgery, the patient will notice an improvement after the nose is cleaned. Uh, that breathing improvement improves over time, and most of the time, at about seven days after surgery, the patient is able to notice a significant improvement in the breathing as compared to before rhinoplasty. The majority of the time, we perform a septoplasty, uh, at the same time that we perform the rhinoplasty and this septoplasty is what actually provides a mechanical improvement or an anatomical improvement in the flow of air through the nose but like any other operation it has a required recovery course and as that swelling inside the nose improves the breathing uh, through the nose will also improve. Rhinoplasty is typically performed for two reasons. The form or the cosmetic appearance of the nose, the function or the ability to breathe through the nose. We typically consider a rhinoplasty incomplete if one of those elements is absent or deficient. In other words, if a nose doesn't breathe properly after rhinoplasty, the operation is incomplete. We typically improve the function of the nose or the breathing through performing a septoplasty at the same time that we do the rhinoplasty. The septum is the structure inside the nose that divides the nose into two sides. It's made of bone towards the back and it's made of cartilage towards the front. Many times the septum can be deviated to one side or the other or to both sides. By straightening the septum, the airflow through the nose is improved and thus the function of the nose is improved. Interestingly, the deviation of the septum is many times attached to the cosmetic appearance of the nose. In other words, if the septum is deviated, the external appearance of the nose can appear deviated. And that's where the two components of rhinoplasty come into play with each other. And this is why many times we improve the position of the septum to improve the cosmetic appearance of the nose. Importantly, we don't pack the nose after rhinoplasty, so we typically do some techniques that avoid that painful packing experience that many rhinoplasty patients have had. And this is why I can tell the majority of my rhinoplasty patients that the experience really should not be painful. Patients typically do not have any pain after rhinoplasty because we avoid that entire packing experience.